Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll wrap concerning working with the outlines for the vector objects or the lines in Corel Draw, and we'll take a look at converting outlines to objects or a curve in Corel Draw. And this is a very valuable trick that we can use or a technique that we can use, especially when we're doing things like tracing, drawing, or designing things. Instead of creating the entire object, we can create an outline, give it a width, and then convert it to a curve or an object. It's quite simple. Here I have an ellipse. I could take this and we'll just duplicate that. Left click, right click one time. And we'll bring this down here and we'll change our outline to let's say eight points. Now I can go to object, convert outline to object or control shift Q. Now you'll see that change. Now what happened is that just went from being an ellipse, I'll hit Control-Z to go back. Down here it's an ellipse on layer 1, but if I hit Control-Alt-Z, now it's a curve. I just redid what I did with the Control-Shift-Q. Now it has the properties of a curve object. So it can have a fill, and it can also have outlines. So we've converted the outline to a curve in Corel Draw. Take a look at a simple soccer ball trace and how I would use the convert outline to object in that tracing project. If I zoom in even closer here, I've created the vector objects for the black areas in the trace. And you can see those here. So the next thing I would do is take those objects, holding down shift, and select all of them. And I'll scroll down here because I know I've got another one at the bottom. And I now have six objects. I'll weld those together. Those are now one curve in Corel Draw. The next thing I've done is I've taken and created vector lines. I'll delete this one. And I'll go to the Bezier tool. And we'll be covering this tool later. Right now, I'm just getting into the why of using Convert Outline to Object. And I'll just make my line so it goes right through what would be right about the center, zooming in here, of that area. I'll right click to change that to a red. And I can come over here and I'll change the properties to two points. And that's just about perfect. I could go to the Shape tool now. I want to dial this in a little bit more, bring it over this way make some changes to it so it fits right in there just the right way just like that just dial that now if i take this object instead of having to draw the line all the way around I just had to draw one line saving myself time control shift q now it's an object hold down shift select the other objects come up here to the multiple objects property bar and weld them and now i've created that using convert outline to object instead of tracing all the way around I'm creating one line instead of multiple so I'm saving myself time using that if I can go to the rest of these holding down shift select and we do cover selecting objects in the training earlier in the training series so we've got all these selected I'll left click and drag to make sure I've got them all and I do have them all except for the one I already converted. Once again, Control Shift Q, convert it to outline. We'll take and weld those together. Hold down Shift, select the black curve or the curve object that we created for the black. 
weld all of this together. I'll take the red outline off, give that a red fill, and you can see now I've set that up. Now if I miss, did I miss a line here? Yep, I missed a line there, but it's very easy. I have that selected, Control Shift Q, hold down Shift, and then go to Weld. And I'll take this ellipse, and the same thing with that, Control Shift Q, and I'll take the object that I made for the inside of the soccer ball, both selected, and weld. And there, I have created the soccer ball trace which you see over here, which is now a curve on layer one. So using the convert outline to objects, I'm able to create things like the line segments between the black and the white areas in the soccer ball by converting an outline to a curve as opposed to going click, 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 and dialing it all in. It's also going to be very uniform and clean as opposed to me doing it by eye. Here I have a Chili's logo trace. Now here I've taken the Chili's logo and for the C, I just created an ellipse and we'll get into the shape tools later more in depth. I'm just looking at convert outline to objects right now. This has a 15 point or very close to line outline on it and it fits right into the path of the C. I can take this and just right click, hold down, hover over this, the line and the H, release, and copy outline here. And that's very good. Here I've got a rectangle that I set up. You see it's a rectangle on layer one. I'll take that and convert that to curves, and we're going to cover all this later in the training. I'll double click on that. I'll come down to like right about here. Double click and drop a node there, then come up right up here in the center. Double click and drop another node there. Right click, go to break apart, do the same thing here. Right click on that node, break apart. Then I'm going to hit my space bar, go back to the pick tool, right click, break curve apart. And I'll delete that segment there. Here I'll go again. Right click, copy outline. Do the same thing here. Right click, hold down. Copy outline here. Same thing here. And you can see the center point. And that's what you want. Copy outline here. I've got these two ellipses, but. And I'll take this and right click, copy here. And I didn't want to copy the object, I wanted to copy the outline, so I just hit Control Z to undo. Okay, now, copy outline here, and I'll do the same thing here. Copy outline here. These two ellipses I can just reshape a bit, and I'll just change the size of that and give it a little bit of rotation to fit the shape of the eye. I'll delete this one. Select this, left click, right click, hold down, constrain, bring that over there. Select these, holding down shift. Control shift Q. And now I've got everything converted to curves. I'll hit control Z, weld that together, go to my shape tool, which we'll be covering in future training as well. I can delete here and I'll bring this line segment up in line. And we can see that there. I'm going to go to view and wireframe. Might want to make some tweaks here. Just pull us up into that area there. And we're going to cover the training on working like this in Corel with your vectors later in the training. I'm going to bring these two over here make them a little closer and then I'll bring this up a little bit here like that and I'll bring this down here. Now if I delete that node, bring that down in there, make that adjustment. And now I've been able to trace that logo very accurately and quickly working with convert outline to object as opposed to working my way around the entire logo 
to do the logo creation using convert outline to object. Lasso these three nodes down here and hit my forward arrow just to nudge them up a little bit. And everything looks pretty clean there. Very good recreation of the logo, saving a lot of time working with convert outline to object. Back to view and enhanced. Go to my pick tool, hit my space bar, select these two. Hold down shift, select that. Weld again. And then once I've done all that, you can see the vector recreation of the logo. Now here I didn't weld everything together. This was just to show you how those pieces would have come together using convert outline to object to trace that logo as opposed to working my way all the way around it with different tools in Corel Draw. So convert outline to object is a very powerful feature that I use very frequently and we'll get into some more of it in other sessions in the training but I just want to go over that briefly here so you can be aware of it. Keep this in mind as we go through the training series. This is one of the techniques I use very frequently both in production artwork tracing things and also when I'm doing graphic design, logo design, and other things. So we'll wrap here in this session and we'll continue in our next video session.